Hi, I'm Tony Lacantro. I'm at the RIU Resources Roundup here in Sydney, and I'm joined today by JP. Well, of course, his name's, name's much longer than that, but I'm not going to try. Uh, from Gallon Lithium, code GLN. Hey, JP. Hello there. Yes, now, I believe that GLN, um, Gallon, was formerly Dempsey Minerals. Correct. And I remember they were trading about 10 to 11 cents. And since then, you've transformed the company now into Gallon. Can you tell us about what your activities are now? Yeah, well, we, um, we've been pretty busy. Um, well, the, the whole um, Ombre Motor project started uh, for us in November last year. I um, started a company, a private company called Blue Sky Lithium. Uh, since then, we went into um, Dempsey Minerals and went changed the name to uh, Galan Lithium. It's called Galan Lithium to reflect the area where we are. Cerro Galan is the volcano that feeds the lithium to the whole basin, including the FMC, Galaxy and POSCO. Mm -hmm. And we are part of that basin, so hence the name. And to reflect a bit of more of our Argentine flavour to where we are. And that is a um, big thing for us because you get a lot of support locally. And being a small company, we need all the support that we can. Now, where we at? We've done uh, surface sampling, which are returning uh, results according, similar to what Galaxy has to the north. Right. We've done geophysics, we've done conductivity and, and gravity, and that information itself is showing the potential of lithium brines um, on an extension of 15 kilometers by 3 to 4 kilometers in width. So um, the size of our project um, could um, stack up in elephant country, as I call it, um, of uh, the Ombre Motor Basin. So, um, Next thing that we're doing is um, applying for the drilling permit and hopefully we'll be drilling before the end of the year. Yeah, there has been quite a lot of success and even this dates back to 2008 when Oricobre had that initial run. So the lithium bubble it started by stealth about 10 years ago. But there has been some issues in Argentina. How are you more immune to those issues? Well, no company is immune to anything, but uh, what we can tell you is um, we are um, operating in a relatively mining friendly area. We, um, we're neighbouring FMC. FMC is the fourth largest lithium producer by now. And they've been operating since the early 90s. The lithium revolution started with the Sony batteries in the, at the Ombre Muerto. So all that lithium that was in the, your camcorders and mm. all those batteries, were, they came from Argentina. Now, FMC has been operating for 27 years. Um, as you know, Argentina has a history of ups and downs, and they've been able to remain a producer, and despite whatever changes been thrown at them, politically and uh, economically as well. So they, we believe that because we are in a part of the world that you know is mildly friendly, and we have the the his, um, you know the record of uh, FMC, we could mimic or, or somehow you know um, be operating. Um, in, in an environment where we'll be able to navigate um, everything that's been thrown at us at some point in time that we know that we, we may face. Yeah, it's an interesting place where the price of a coffee mimics the share ticker at times, doesn't it? <laughs> but you did beat us at rugby, so um, yeah. And I guess Argentina is a good tradition of mining and lithium brine, if, if can be done correctly, is highly profitable. So thank you, JP. No, thank you.